What's up YouTube, this is Boy G back in another video. So today I just wanna quickly show you how to install um, games from Epic Games, you know, and GOG on your Steam Deck. And also, mo most importantly, is to install them to the SD card. Because as you know, on my unboxing, I have the 64 gig version of this um, Steam Deck. And installing via Steam is actually uh, no problem because as soon as you install your SD card, I'll just show you real quick here. As soon as you install your SD card, it's actually going to be the default location for the installation. So if you go to the storage, you will see that the micro SD there has a, a star on it, like a favorite, right? So that means that's the um, default installation. However, if you go to the desktop mode and install a launcher, you know, Epic Games, GOG, it will actually just use your, um, you know, internal storage for, for whatever reason, and it will not allow you to install to an expandable storage like, like this, right? First, let me show you um, how to get that um, Epic Games and, you know, uh, GOG things like that. So the very first thing that you're gonna do is to go to your desktop mode So let's go ahead and switch to desktop here Apologies for a lot of smudges because I've been using the touch screen and it's just leaving smudges on my screen I'm probably not gonna use touch screen anymore All right now here um, from your desktop mode What you're gonna need to do is to go to your discovery, right? So that's the discover. It's kind of like the app, uh, you know like the Google Play Store or something like that, right? So just go there, launch that. And the very first thing that you're gonna do is um, select a browser or select a, a launcher called Heroic, right? So just go there on the search and type Heroic. Now, of course, to launch your keyboard, kind of like a shortcut, you just have to press the Steam button on the left side plus the X. So let's do that. As you can see, it will launch the, uh, the keyboard. Just put heroic. Hold up, it's um, searching right away, so might as well uh, make sure that um, you type it from the beginning here. All right, all right. So as you can see, it will show heroic game launcher there at the uh, at the very first one. I already installed mine, but um, you know, as soon as you uh, search yours, just click that very first part, right? this one heroic game launcher and just install it right now as soon as you're done installing it it's just kind of like a you know on your mobile phone android app it will just download and install automatically um, as soon as you install it just get out of that um, discovery i'll get back to that later on but um, get out of that and then go to your kind of like windows key here you know but for linux it's the steam one application launcher and go to your uh, games and look for that um uh launcher right so let me just um look for that one um it's called heroic launcher all right so as you can see it's the very first one it says heroic game launcher just go there right click on it so that you can put a shortcut to the steam itself right so when you go back to the to the launcher kind of like the big window you will have that now again right click uh you know shortcut steam shortcuts just basically steam button plus the l2 so let's do that you can, of course, uh, map it to something else, um, essentially like, uh, you know, like the button on the back, things like that, a paddle button. So I haven't uh, done mine. I'll probably use it, uh, do that later on. But just um, click here and then select Add to Steam, right? So that's what we're going to do. Just going to click that so that what will happen is when you add that to your Steam, when you go back to the gaming mode here, all right, that's the gaming mode. So when you go back, kind of like the big picture, you will now have uh, that launcher, right? And it's called um, Heroic Launcher, but it will actually um, gather all of your games from uh, Epic Games and GOG. So that's absolutely beautiful because if you have a lot of games already, especially the free games, right? Every Thursday, if I remember correctly, there's a lot of free games in um, Epic, right? And GOG, you will then have this, right? Now, you will actually see that if you go to your library, for example, um, all right, so you'll see you have, you know, the, the, the PC games that you have on your deck, right? And then right on the side, there's like a non-Steam one, and that's the one uh, that we just added earlier. It's kind of like a shortcut to the Steam. If you remember in the PC, 
you also add you know uh, shortcuts right to the steam now this is the problem though if you launch this right for example you you launch that as if it's a game and then it will show you all of your um, games by the way i'm already logged in to my epic so if you haven't logged in yet the very first thing that will pop up is it's just going to ask you to log into your epic or to your gog you know whatever you use whatever you like so just log in using your username and password on those and then once you log in um you will have this right now i don't have gog i have epic games though so as you can see all of my games on epic are now present there now the the big problem here if you select one for example i uh I wanted to select the plague, right? Um, again, I'm using 64 gig only. So you notice it says download size is 35 gig and install size is uh, 41. Now, if I click that install, it will say, um, you know, not enough disk space. And as a matter of fact, you won't be able to change that. It's pretty weird. As a matter of fact, it's probably on the launcher only. Um, you won't be able to change that even though you click that folder you know like on a window you can change that right on steam deck you won't be able to click that right away it's just kind of like uh, disabled or null right it's not gonna do anything at all so there's one more thing that we're gonna need to do to in order to um, enable that right so we just need to go back to the desktop mode one more time uh, power and then desktop mode all right we're gonna have to install one additional software and uh, do a little bit of uh, tweak, you know, fairly easy to basically enable that stuff, right? So all you need to do is go back to the Discover, right? Our kind of like Play Store. And then you're going to select or you're going to search for a, a file name uh, called Seal, right? Or, or, or you can just simply type Seal on it. It's just going to um, show the app that we're looking for. So for example, let's go ahead and type um, seal, uh, S-E-A-L, right? So it's basically flat seal. It's called flat seal is the very first one. Now, if you notice, it's already enabled on mine, but again, all you need to do is just to um, go there, right? Select that and then install, right? Like, um, you know, uh, like the first one. Go back to your application launcher here. Now that one will not pop up on games. It's gonna go to the all applications. So go to the all application and look for that. That's the flat seal that you can see there. All right. So just launch that. All right. I hope you see that. Okay. And then look for uh, the um, heroic game um, launcher here. Right. And then scroll down a little bit. Right. So what we need to do here actually is to go to this file system here, as you notice. And then we're going to add something on the uh, other file. You can't, you actually can see it already here because I already added mine. But for example, uh, just for the sake of demonstration, I will remove this. All right, let's go ahead and remove that. So let's go to the uh, game that I'm trying to install earlier, Plague. Okay, install. And then, all right, so you notice it says um, not enough this space, right? Now I would like to change that. And look at that right it's not allowing me to do anything at all so if i if i if i put or uh, press a there nothing happens right so it's forced on internal storage and it's not allowing me to change that and that's going to be a problem on 64 gig model like like this right like mine in order to get the 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 syntax right the line that we need to paste there we have to go to our file manager here, right? Just launch the uh, Dolphin file manager and then look for your storage basically. So scroll down here until you get into the removable devices. That's your SD card. So just click that and then uh, that's the one, right? Again, if I change that, um, for example, there's a lot of other options, but of course we're looking for the SD card. So just click that primary there and then um, select this primary here tap that and then you're just going to copy that right uh, no um, spaces just the uh, or no forward slashes it doesn't accept uh, forward slashes just the actual um, syntax so just go ahead and copy that I don't have any keyboard or mouse on me so I'm just gonna use uh, the trackpad here let's see so right click on it and select copy 
All right. So now we can uh, go back to the flat seal, all right? Go to the all application and then flat seal. All right. Now select the um, heroic game launcher there because that's the one that we're trying to tweak. And again, scroll down to the file system. Under the file system here, add another line, right? So select this one, kind of like a new line, new folder. It's gonna give you that er error, you know, warning. So just go ahead and paste the uh, line that you have. You just gonna have to uh, copy paste it, right? Uh, without the last uh, forward slash, but including the very first forward slash, all right? Now that you, um, you know, paste that, it's auto save. You don't have to press save or anything. Just close that, close everything now. Let's go ahead and launch the heroic here. So open heroic. All right, it's just exactly the same, uh, but go to your uh, game now that you're wanting to install. And if you notice here, once we um, click here, you know, using mouse, kind of like a mouse support probably, if you use mouse, it's actually going to allow you to change the folder. So look at that. So it's about the file management or a uh, file system on the desktop mode. It's not going to work on the gaming mode in the picture, a big picture, right? I keep on calling it big picture, but it's going to work here just for the installation, right? So all you need to do now is um, look for your um, SD card right down below primary. And then you can then create whatever folder here now. So for example, let's go ahead and create a, a new folder, right? Just name new folder. So select that new folder there. Let me just uh, go back and select new folder. All right, choose. All right. So it, it, it kind of like tweaked the actual um, file system of the desktop mode, right? So it uh, kind of like unsealed it. So you just click on install. So if you notice, um, it's now um, installing, even though um, my my internal 64 gig won't really fit the install size of this because it requires 41 gig right but right now it's now installing on my um external sd card which is 512 gig so it's definitely uh enough for that that's going to work all right so that's just a little trick um once that is installed of course it's going to appear on the on the launcher if you go back to the to the big picture or again to the gaming mode it's gonna appear there and you will be able to play it again right of course one thing is to install or to expand your internal ssd right internal storage there's an ssd slot inside it's pretty expensive though you can also do that in order for your desktop you know stuff to go to your sd mode but you know on this tweak it's already good right it's already good but as you can see it's installing now so that's it for today, just a quick um, how-to. But of course, I'm going to create a lot more videos about this. I'm, I actually have a video on how to how how uh, I managed to install this stuff, right? Uh, the case, if you notice, I have some sticker there. Uh, this one, some accessories, you know, including uh, tempered glass. So essentials, right? I put it that, essentials. But watch out for that. I'm gonna upload that uh, in a couple of days. But that's all for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, stay safe and see you on my next video. Peace.